In the next five minutes, you'll be able to exactly replicate Post Malone's vocal effects. Reverb, delay, vocal parallel, vocal double, and every single aspect of his vocal processing. Create a natural vocal double and add extra oomph to your choruses. You can also access the carefully replicated Post Malone vocal mixing template in the description. Stay with me. I'm Yek, a music producer and songwriter. I showcased Post Malone's vocal inserts in my previous video. In this video, I'm going to reveal his vocal effects used in the song I Fall Apart, mixed by Elangelo, the Weekends producer. Join the family by hitting the subscribe button. I got the eye of the tiger, the First, let's begin with vocal parallel compression. It really helps your vocal stay in your face even in the busiest mixes. To do that, open a new bus and a saturator plugin. Elangelo used Soundtoy's little radiator with the displayed settings. But if you don't have access to that particular plugin, you can use Waves Magma BB tubes or any other saturator. I'll solo that so it would be easier for you to replicate that sound in your desired plugin. We add some saturation. I found these settings on BB tubes very close to the Soundtoy's little radiator, although they're modeled from different gears. Let's listen to it. I got the eye of the tiger. Now, I add an 1176 compressor with a super fast attack and release, with all the buttons engaged. We aim for nearly 20 decibels of gain reduction. I got the eye of the tiger. It's followed by Waves L2 limiter to control the peaks. Just one or two decibels of gain reduction. I got the eye of the tiger. Now we can blend it with the original signal. The amount really depends on your taste. I got the eye of the tiger. Of Let's add another bus for a super wide natural vocal double. Open Antares Avox Duo. Set pitch variation to 40 and timing variation to 80. And turn off the original signal. It sounds like this. I got the eye of the tiger. Oh. Then add Waves Real ADT. Set ADT to minus 15, turn off the dry signal, and add a bit of drive. You might think we're exaggerating, but it really sounds good with the main vocals. To get it out of the way of the original vocal, we add 5 milliseconds of delay to it. It pushes back the background vocals, also adding character to the background vocals, followed by L2 limiter. This vocal mixing template is available in the link in the description. Again, you can use any other limiter. Let's have a listen. I got the eye of the tiger, the fire, we blend it with the original signal. Not too loud, not too quiet. This is what we need. Next, we add Waves Doubler 4. It splits the dry signal into four different bands, and by varying the time and pitch between them, it creates a nice double. Turn the dry signal off and use these settings to create doubles. Let's keep this EQ on. 3 dB at 1000 is enough. Keeping the EQ on adds beautiful information to the sides. Also, it gives the vocal priority so everyone would love it. You're gonna hear me roll The next effect is Plexi Echo, a kind of tape echo. Elangelo used the UAD version of it, but you can use Auditory Plexi Echo instead. These are Elangelo's settings. Also, I replicate the settings in Waves J37 so more people can use it. The download link is available in the description. Simply turn on the sync and put it to a 16th note. Add a little bit of sustain and volume. Let's listen to it. It gives you a kind of slap delay that adds beautiful texture. Got the eye of the tiger, a fighter. Because we're mostly in the box, any process that can add saturation helps a lot. The next effect would be AMS nonlinear reverb. Linear means a straight line. Most reverbs decay naturally in a sort of straight line. All natural reverbs are considered linear because that's the laws of physics. Very few plug-in verbs have non-linear algos. Elangelo used the UAD version of it with the settings displayed, but the non-UAD alternative would be Wave Alchemy Glow plugin, which is a non-linear reverb, and it's modeled based on AMS Reverb. It has a 14-day trial, so you don't need to purchase it immediately. We set it to non-linear mode, H0, and one second of decay. This parameter applies high cut to the reverb. This reverb is designed to be short. Let's give it a listen. For the next bus, again we use the Glow plugin with different settings. We put it on Hall mode and we roll off the high end a little bit, and we set the decay time to 5 seconds. 
This is our long reverb. Let's give it a listen. The important trick about setting the reverb decay is to set the reverb decay longer if you have stretched words or melody that has fewer words in it, and vice versa. If you have a vocal that has many words, like rap vocals, set the decay to shorter amounts. The next effect is delay. Open up FabFilter Timeless 2 and set the delay time to a quarter note with the displayed settings. The trick here is adding modulation to our high pass, low pass filter. We need two XLFO for this. Simply, we set the first one to filter frequency 1 with a quarter note and set the second one to filter frequency 2. This adds character to your vocal delay and it helps the delays not be boring. I add a compressor and sidechain the lead vocal to it. So whenever the vocal signal gets in, the delay will be gone. And whenever the vocal is gone, the delay signal will appear. Let's listen to it. Down, but I got up. Get ready, cause if I add an instance of Waves Arvox to control the level of our delay signal. Elangelo didn't do this. I do it myself to prevent the delays from being out of control. And you're gonna 